and welcome back to my channel. So I probably look very hot and bothered because I am very hot and bothered. In the UK it's currently 30 degrees Celsius. That is hot. That is very hot. So for today's video it is gonna be a fun one. I'm excited to see how it turns out. So basically I have gone to Poundland, had a look at their makeup and I have decided I am gonna do a full face of what I have bought that is a majority of stuff I'm pretty sure full face of pound land makeup now I did my best but they literally did not have my shade at all in anything so I'm working with what I've what I can um, so as a result I might be a bit orange who knows I don't know how good the quality of the stuff is I've never tried pound land makeup but I thought it'd be a bit different like I said it's really really hot so I'm hoping that does not affect the quality in any way although I am a well, I'm not sweaty, but my face is very hot, basically. But I thought this would be so much fun, courtesy of my sister-in-law giving me this inspiration, sporadic idea. Um, but I'm really excited to get into the video. So, without further ado, woo! And I'm back. I decided to put this on because it's keeping my hair at my face and because it's cute. I'm just gonna quickly pop on some primer. I'm gonna take the ordinary primer and just pop that on my skin. Um, I don't know if this is cheating, but I don't have a primer from Poundland, so let's just go with that. I'm actually using the viewfinder to um, do my makeup, so bear with me here. I can't get over how cute this is. So sweet. I'm actually gonna zoom you in slightly so that you guys can see the carnage that's going to be going on. Let's get into the Poundland bits. I actually bought this. So Poundland didn't have its own one, but Sleek Makeup through Poundland, which it was a pound, so I think it does count, did have a cream to powder foundation and it says it's oil free. So I'm quite intrigued to see if this works because I get quite oily skin. So it just looks like this. I'm just going to take it out of the packaging. Oh God, this was... About this at all, did I? We're gonna improvise and use tweezers to get into it. Right, so it literally just looks like this. Oh my god, I can't even open it. Oh my gosh, how do you open this? It's okay, I'm just being weak. So, looks like this. It looks very dark for me. Like, I don't think that's gonna go down well. I have got a mirror over here. If you're wondering where I'm looking, that is probably where I'm looking. But what the heck? <laughs> This is never going to match me, but we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a go. I'm getting some onto the sponge and I'm just going to whack it on. Okay, already decided how terrible this is. There's no coverage. Actually, I lie. It's actually got quite a lot of coverage. Not coverage, but it comes off nicely. Do you know what? This is very, very creamy. It's not as bad as I thought the colour. I have fake tan to this week, so I'm hoping that is on my side. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. It's not bad at all. I thought it was rubbish because I was looking in the viewfinder, but in, in person it's not bad. I'm impressed. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over my face. it everywhere I have to say it is minimal minimal coverage but you know what I like it I mean I look slightly orange but we can deal with it like I don't know if you can see how well it's going on but it's literally powder that you can just wipe on I don't know if I'm actually applying it right or whether I should be patting it but it doesn't look cakey at all it's not an awful color I thought that was gonna be so dark it doesn't look awful at all I'm impressed. Like, Poundland are doing me bits here. Like, for a little everyday work sort of powder base. It's very buildable as well. So the more I'm adding, the more coverage I'm getting. Like, look at that coverage. It doesn't, I mean, I'm a bit sweaty on my top of it. So let's just ignore that. But as for the actual product, it ain't too shabby. I'm impressed. 
I'm just gonna say it says oil free foundation transforms itself into a lightweight cream to a velvety matte texture upon application giving a flawless looking finish with buildable coverage and that is everything that I would agree with I would agree with 100% all of that so the next thing is concealer I'm in oh my god I've just opened up the brow product is it yeah it's a brow product do I even have concealer okay so I don't actually have any concealer so I'm gonna go in with my own and I'm just gonna use my NYX HD that's about three pounds I think so one thing I am noticing is that the product underneath is moving moving with the um, concealer I've just put on I don't know if that's the brush because realistically I don't think you should use brushes with this foundation next I'm gonna go in with the makeup gallery by Poundland and oh, I've literally not opened any of these so bear with me Actually, I shouldn't do that with Corona being a thing that's really bad so this is a matte bronzer and it just looks like this it's actually quite pretty it's just simple I'm gonna just apply this oh my god oh my god I did not just do that I just put my brush into the foundation although it didn't really do anything so I think we're good I'm actually quite impressed with this as well it's very light like it blends very well as well I just want to show you like let me move forward to show you I'm gonna use the viewfinder I'm sweating quite a lot so like I said it's 30 degrees outside and the UK never has air conditioning I orange with this powder but if you put a little bit on it really isn't that bad but I'm just gonna bring it down my neck and it like doesn't oh, okay that does look a bit orange oh well it's fine it's fine we can work with it next I'm applying a cream highlighter it doesn't even look very glittery to be honest I want to swipe oh my god what is that it's watery like do you see how that okay it does show up actually I'm being too quick to judge I feel like it is quite do you see that it's quite watery texture I guess what I need to do is just put it on my finger and rub it onto my face I'm not going to use a brush because I feel like that will ruin the texture of it I'm just going to put it in all the areas I normally would it feels like a lip gloss like it just gives you a wet look I feel like can you see you know what I'm impressed look at that glow I mean I'm already sweaty on my upper lip so I probably don't even need this but let's go with it okay that's way too much now I just look really sweaty which I am but I put a bit more on my nose it hasn't moved the okay it has moved the product slightly underneath but not awful Okay, I am actually really impressed like considering what it is okay it has made the product quite a lot and like I said the it doesn't really go with this color bronzer considering how cheap it is I would use this for every day like 100% I'm very impressed like I probably wouldn't buy this again but for a cheap alternative and if you don't want like proper proper glow in your face then it's very very subtle which I think is really really nice so next I'm actually going to go in with a eyeshadow quad it was a pound for four shades it just looks like this which I think is actually very sweet I'm going to try and use I might try and use them all but then on top of it I'm going to try and use this which is a shimmer okay so I tried this on my hand and it didn't really show up so I'm intrigued to know if it will show up in my eyes so I'm just gonna zoom you in so you can see me doing my eyes so I'm going to take the white shade first there is a lot of fallout and I'm literally just gonna go over the lid with it I mean it's showing up like I don't know if you can see that there is like a lot of fallout but it's a hundred percent pigment pigmented I don't know if you can see that but it does like break up though like it it's not 
I don't know how to explain it, like it's not, it doesn't sit on your eye, it moves about quite a lot. Now I am going to go in with the shimmer just underneath the white, this one in this corner. Um, I don't know if they've got names, no. They are definitely pigmented, that's one thing I will say. I'm gonna go in the crease with this. Oh wow, that's pretty, I don't mind that. I'm, gonna, I'm just using this shimmery, I have just noticed that they are all shimmery colors. So you don't really get any mattes, but that's okay, we can work with it. It's like, look at that. You can also see my bags, like here. It doesn't look ideal, so you would need some like color correct there or something. I am now going to go in with the glitter stick, because I want to see if that makes any difference to the glittery eye. So again, using my sleeve. I'm just gonna rub this on my arm first and then go onto my eye. Okay, it's coming up better here. I mean, it doesn't show much. Am I doing this right? It's really hard to come out on your eye, I'm gonna be honest. This I just used is nowhere near to my expectations as I thought it would be. I mean, it is Poundland. If I got one in Super Drug, I feel like it would be like so much better and it'll probably be like the same price a bit more expensive but yeah I mean you can still see it like let me show you on the back of my hand what it's supposed to look like that and I don't think you can really see that on the eye at all what if I used it as like highlighter that didn't really work so next I'm gonna go on to eyebrows so I'm just using this slay the brow by makeup gallery and it's just a brow gel and i'm intrigued to see i got it in blonde it just looks like this so i'm intrigued it stinks oh it stinks and i'm just gonna brush the brow oh my god that is very watery okay it's not bad you know i'm impressed again like considering how cheap these products are and my brows aren't all that good anyway at the moment, so considering, I am impressed. Oh my goodness, what the heck? It is quite like a watery consistency and it does spread very easily, so you don't need very much of it. I'm really impressed by this, like really impressed. It is darker than blonde in my opinion, that does not look very blonde to me. Oh my god, it definitely gives you quite a fluffy brow. I'm impressed. Like, genuinely, I am impressed. I'm just going to wipe around it. I feel like I still need to fill them in properly, but obviously I don't have anything to do that because there was nothing I could get when I was there. But as far as cheap eyebrow products, this is good. I never wear eyeliner, but I thought for the purpose of the video, I will try it because... Why not? We're gonna go in with this pound land one. It's just makeup gallery. Just, I'll show you what the actual end looks like. It literally looks like this. And I don't know really how to apply eyeliner, I'm gonna be honest. So this could be carnage, but we will see. And just apply it across the lid. Oh no, I've already ruined that. Oh, shit. Okay, that's gone terribly. It's very, very watery and it's burning. I don't think eyeliner should burn. Tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Guys, it stopped recording that whole thing and I don't know where I got to, but I applied my eyeshadow, my eyebrows are done and I started my eyeliner, which by the way, I never do eyeliner, literally. Point blank, have, I don't think I've done it in about four years, so excuse the terrible wing but also it's very watery consistency so it's also very hard to apply so it's going to be interesting to see how it is after a few hours um like it's a very watery consistency i don't know if you can even see that like i'm terrible at eyeliner just so you know but it's exceedingly watery i mean the wings are two different sizes, but we're gonna go with it because your girl cannot do eyeliner at all. Like I said, I've not done it in like three years, probably more than that. 
I've not done it since school. That was like six years ago, I swear. Three, four, probably about five years ago. And yeah, I mean, it's not awful. You can use it if you know how to do eyeliner well, you will be fine with this. But it is watery and I don't know how well it lasts. So be interesting to see. So I thought I would just come on here quickly and let you know that when I took the eyeliner off, I had to scrub, like, it just did not want to come off, so I scrubbed and normally my makeup comes off really nicely with my miracle like um, makeup remover thing. So honestly, it stays on really, really well. Um, and I just thought that might be useful to some of you who wear eyeliner unlike me. <laughs> Let's get back to the video. Poundland, I'm impressed. It's not creasing, other than my bags, but that's because I didn't get a proper concealer and the one I used isn't very high coverage so I'm impressed so far. Next we have got a mascara so we're gonna apply the mascara it just is a plain black one so let's go okay this is crap already I can tell why people don't buy the mascaras it's not actually depends what sort of person you are if you like very natural you're in for a treat if you don't and you're like me and you love big long thick eyelashes then maybe do not buy this but I mean it's not awful like it's definitely lengthening my lashes quite a lot I don't know if you can see that oh my god look how bad that liner looks it stinks like chemicals and oh my god what's in my eye it's in my eye now Oh no, that's bad news. Don't ruin my eyelid, don't ruin my eyelid. It's very, it like, it looks like it would easily go onto your skin if you weren't really careful with it. We're going with something different. I am so, so rubbish at applying lashes. They're called Nighttime False Eyelashes and it's two pairs and I'm probably going to go for the bottom pair because I think they're the same but I'm not sure. I'm actually going to apply a lipstick. So I have a lip butter and I also have this matte lipstick. I'm going to actually put on this. I've tried this and it is just your average matte lip. It doesn't stay on for very long and it's very nude and I feel like this would just make my look pop a little bit more. Okay, I've already nearly broken it. Just looks like this. So we're going to just apply that to my lip and see how well it applies. It's very, very, very creamy. It's cute, the colour. I don't really have any lips. So, but if you've got really nice big lips, you'll be in for a treat. It's really easy to apply. That was literally like butter going onto your lip. Wow, I think that's kind of the point because it's called Butter Me Up. It's cute. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the lash and let's see how well this goes. I'm rubbish at applying lashes so don't judge. God, they are so hard to apply. They aren't even... I hate them. So that's that one done. Oh, that's just undone. They do not stick down very well at all. They're very, very rigid, so really hard to stick down. Um, so it keeps popping up in the corner and also on the edge. And I did put quite a lot of glue on. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply the other one as well. So this is the finished look with Poundland makeup. Would you believe it? This is all Poundland. I am actually shocked. The lashes were applied badly, so I'm gonna give them a bit of leeway, but they were very, very rigid to apply and they were very hard to like maneuver, I guess you could say. The lipstick, I'm very impressed with. Pressed foundation, very impressed with. Um, the highlighter is really nice, but too much, and it makes you look very sweaty, as you can see here. Um, but the bronzer is nice, a little bit orange for me, but it still works, it's not awful. I am actually so sweaty. I cannot believe it. I'm so sweaty. I can't believe how hot it is in the UK. As I said, the, I don't like the lashes. The quad was okay. The glitter didn't work. Um, the lashes have just popped up again. 
it's like the 50th time I put them down, I'm not even kidding you. Um, and yeah, I think as for how line goes, it's not awful. I mean, the look doesn't look like me, which I definitely think it just doesn't look like me. It is a pound land look and I think for a pound for every one of those products, I think I spent 13 pounds. But I'm really, really impressed, like considering. As a whole, I don't think it's awful. I'm really impressed considering how much stuff we got, how different in color I thought it would look. I thought it would not be as good quality. I mean, it does come off, like it is starting to come off now and I am hot, so maybe it's not ideal for hotter weather. If you haven't tried the Poundland makeup, go try it. Genuinely shocked, really, really shocked. But this is the finished look and I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and join the family. Um, but that is it for today and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye.